Hey, I'm Wally Kurth, and I'm gonna spend one day with Peter Reckel. He plays the hard-hitting Bo Brady on Days of Our Lives. Peter asked me to meet him up here in Santa Barbara at his favorite store, Living Green Gallery. He and his wife, Kelly, are building a new home, and this is their favorite place to shop. He should be here any minute. Hello. Good morning. Allow me. There we go. Hey, Kelly, nice to see you again. Too. It's been a while. Yes. Hey, Peter. Hey, hey. Nice to see you, man. Me too. So here we are in Santa Barbara at your favorite it's store. Beautiful at our here, favorite isn't it? store. It's been a while since we've been here. I'm excited. They've changed it around since the last time we were here. It used to be on that side. Yeah. Now, you're building a new home. A green home. A green home. And you're starting it's from. green. And you're starting from the ground up. It's kind of cool because the house will be situated so. Most of our windows are south facing so that in the winter time we can get the warmth from the sun because this is summertime, the sun's pretty straight up, but in the winter time it goes like this and so we'll be able to get that warmth into our home and hang on to it with those thermal walls. Yeah. And this is like the only place, the best place to best buy place. environmentally friendly products? Yeah, yes. they have everything from solar panels to paint to flooring to cleaning products. It's amazing what they have here. One of our main reasons for building this, uh, this house is because we're thinking of starting a family. Oh. And, and when you start thinking about what's going in, you know, what a kid is, you know, a carpet a kid's playing on, really brings into focus what your environment is like inside your home. And, and we have learned so much over the last couple of years. It's, mm -hmm. it's astounding. A lot of people have allergies and, or they just wake up and they don't, chronically just don't feel well. And they right. don't understand that their living environment is actually toxic. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like we, we have okay. some good friends who just had a baby and they're putting a, a new carpet in the baby room. And they don't understand that this carpet is off gas and the carpet is, okay. There you My go. wife and I are having a baby. <laughs> Okay, so, in about three we months. No, no. We're having a we're baby in three months, and we're putting a new carpet in his room. Right. And guess what? You're going to be changing that carpet after what you learned exactly. today. We'll have to invite you over. We'll have a talk. You can talk to my wife. You're going to learn everything. I'm going to learn all these things, and I'm going to try to convince her, and she's going to go, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. It's a carpet. Anyway, let's go inside and check it out. A little boy. A little boy. So um, we're very excited. Well, we'll teach you some things. Safe okay. coat paint. Right? What's toxic about the other paint that this this paint doesn't? They outgas VOCs. And does this paint last as long as the other paint? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. This is marmolium. That's very cool. It's, it's like linoleum. It's made from recycled cork. Come on over here, baby. These are cleaning products. I tested this stuff out at home, and it cleans way better. Here's the cork. I see it now. This is the alternative to to carpet. Amazing. This is uh, recycled glass. And what's nice about this is you're not mining because you're using recycled yeah. materials yeah. such as glass and quartz. People don't realize that so almost you, you, anything they do, there's a consequence. That's right, there's yeah. a consequence. So if you think about it, just be a little more aware mm -hmm. of where you're taking it from and where you're putting it. You'll make decisions accordingly. Things don't grow on uh, store shelves, and they don't just disappear when you put it in the garbage can. Right. That's why we say reduce, reuse, yeah. recycle. recycle. It's great. It's completely admirable, you know. And people like yourself who uh, talk to all sorts of folks and people want to emulate, <clears throat> the more we do that kind of work, the more people we will start We hope it'll catch on. Well, let me ask you. So what is, how, is it more expensive? Affordable. It's amazing what the difference is. You might pay 10 or 15% more, but down the road, like we're putting in solar panels in our house. So that adds 15% to the cost of building our house, but they will pay for themselves in four or five years. Then from that point on, you don't have an electric bill. Right, it's money in the bank. Yeah, exactly. and the same thing with cleaning products. You use those kind of cleaning products, they may be more, but your kid doesn't have to go to the doctor, you know, five years down the road because they have allergies. Mm -hmm. So most of this kind of stuff pays for itself in the long run. Just wondering how I'm going to get my wife up here yeah. to, to see all this. <laughs> you guys want to talk about anything else before we go play? I want to sit in the ski chair. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's too. Right? So Peter, there you go. Like, on, the way up, on the way up here, she I'll said, I wish we could jump out of an airplane. She's trying to twist my arm to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Because I've gone skydiving around here, so it's... Yeah, there's a, a company here that does paragliding. Yeah. We'll just have to give him a little pep talk, I think. <laughs> you, you may lose your hat. Is you it know? okay? It's a little okay. windy. I think it's on a clip that, you know... They'll cut out the part where I'm screaming like a little girl? <laughs> well, they'll definitely cut out the part where I'm screaming like a little girl.
Bo Brady, loving father, or drunken mess. Get the full story on Days of Our Lives, weeknights at 7 on SoapNet. Get in to the glamour. I had an appointment with my personal shopper. Get in to the parties. That is so intimate. Get in over your head. Get into One Tree Hill and the OC. Weekdays at 5 and 6 on SoapNet. Life is full of hassles. Cleaning shouldn't be one of them. Dirt Devil Reaction has advanced D2 technology for superior suction power that lasts. And now there's Reaction All Surface for safer hard floor cleaning. The Reaction lineup. More ways Dirt Devil helps you fight dirty. Soft and Dry introduces conditioning silk. When we get home tonight, let's... Yeah? And I'll wear that little... Can you yes. handle it? Oh, yeah. I'll see you at six. Soft and Dry for the all-day confidence to make him sweat. Baby Bell Cheese. 100% natural, 100% irresistible. Bye -bye. Bye, baby Bell. Introducing Revlon Colorist. On tour with Sheryl Crow. Rich, radiant hair color plus six weekly two minute color glaze treatments. Four weeks in, and her hair still looks vibrant. I want to tell you, it's gonna be. A real woman You're with real glamour and really cool hair. Revlon Colorist with Color Glaze. Salon quality hair color that won't fade away. I think we always knew this wasn't gonna work out. Love can be complicated, but for Carter Webb, it seemed impossible. Hey, how you doing? It's really creepy. There's a party tonight, come with me. Are you trying to scam on Lucy? What? I pride myself on being this great listener. I find I'm doing all the talking. Maybe you're not really such a great listener. Hmm? Maybe you're not such a great listener. Adam Brody, Kristen Stewart, and Meg Ryan in the Land of Women. Rated PG-13. Now playing. Go to myspace.com slash itlo. Hey, guys. Hey. Did I miss anything? I just started. Did you get them? Yep. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Three Musketeers. So much light, fluffy chocolate, you won't believe it has 45% less fat. Got any more? <laughs> Three Musketeers. Also available in minis. Peter, I didn't realize that your nickname is Peter Reckless. Yeah. Well, I, that's from my my mom used it, I think, when I was a kid. Uh -huh. Yeah, one of her stories is whenever I couldn't find Peter, I'd just look up into a tree, and there he was climbing a tree. Or I liked to liked heights. Yeah, yeah. So it had nothing to do with driving your car 100 oh, miles yeah. an hour into the into, into the wall at the the, at the Grand Prix uh, down there. Yeah, the Toyota Grand Prix was fun because. You do get, you know, you get to drive a car as fast as you can. You you got to try to do it. I'd try like to get to, into it one of these years. I'd like it's, it's it's pretty popular and a lot of celebrities do it. So it's I'm not sure. I'd probably get a long waiting list. I won it two years ago. So. <laughs> this year I had to drive with the pros. So I was driving with a guy who was known on the circuit as Mad Max. The day of the race, it was raining. And so we took off, Mad Max started right next to me. Well, actually, he started right in front of me. So I just got on his bumper and just did everything that he did. And we were sailing. We're passing all the celebrities. They're into the wall. We're having a great time. We're coming up on this series of corners. So I I just pushed a little bit. I just did a little slide and went into the guardrail. And how fast were you going? Probably around 60 miles an hour when I went into the guardrail. Going down that straight, um, in the rain, on yeah. his bumper, I was going like 110 or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Nice. Nice. What's this? Um, having the icing on the cake. Fire engine up here, is that a good sign? <laughs> the paramedics are already here. Oh, well, you're not gonna like this, Peter. Doing all the necessary paperwork here. <laughs> So when I can't go to work on Monday, just show them this paperwork and everything will be fine. <laughs> oh. 
Let's get going here. This is Leanne, our fearless leader. Let's start out with the simulator. This funny looking harness has a big piece of foam in the back in case you land on your keister instead of using ah, your God-giving landing gear. Well, God gave us these to land, is that right? Yeah. I see. <laughs> these are the toggles or the brakes. These are your beaners. Your hands never go down here unless it's time to land. Let me ask you something. So these are Gui these are guiding or these are slowing you down? You these are mostly breaks. for guiding. Okay. They do stop the glider by pulling on all the, the back edges. lines, and so it stalls it. You don't want to stall when you're high enough that you don't want to fall. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be very bad, and we've never had anybody so do it. So don't. Ah. You don't do it. If you get film. scared, don't go. Ah. <laughs> we're going to hold the risers, and we're going to assume something that we like to call the torpedo position, running forward until it starts to lift you into the air. At that point, touch this little stirrup and push your butt back into the harness. I'll have you take a quick little turn. So we're gonna say, look left, lean left, and add a little bit of left break. This sounds kind of complicated. This, this sounds complicated just Wait, loading about 200, 200 feet. feet? Nice. Unbelievable. And we're up there by ourselves? <laughs> With a radio talking to you. <laughs> and you're screaming. Did you guys bring any depends well, for Peter? <laughs> Will I be able to hear you over my screaming? So do people really do this on their first day? They, all they the catch time. They catch a breeze and they all just the start floating. They're 200 feet in the air on their first day. We've had people get as many as 19 flights on their first day. Wow. 19 so flights. Of you've got a record to try and beat. Okay, cool. <laughs> So let me ask you this, because it's it seems a little daunting, okay? When we're up there, it's moving probably pretty slowly. So when you're talking to us in our radio, you're basically saying, hey, it's okay, don't worry, you're not gonna float away. Mm -hmm. Because I'm thinking the ocean's right down there and you got a bunch of hillsides. <laughs> and if we're if we catch a breeze and we just take <laughs> off, I've Am never done be this before. How do I there? control it? How do I if I start moving in a direction I don't want to move? You're gonna you're going to talk me, tell turn me? Turn right okay. or turn left so you right. get back on target. Okay. Okay. When it's time to land, I'm going to tell you to move to the edge of your seat. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> One of the ways to really think about it <laughs> is to push your hips out yeah. so you feel like you're at the oh, edge. <laughs> <laughs> and your landing gear you're is down them. below you. When you're about five feet over the ground, I'm going to tell you to start easing the brakes down to slow the glider, and then I'm going to tell you to flare. Flare is all the way down, hold it, and be ready to run forward. We're doing this one at a time, right? So yes, there's not definitely. three of us out, and you're like trying to talk to one definitely. person. Definitely, oh. and we're going to start in little baby steps. Okay. Once you're coming down oh, towards the <laughs> reception up here, what if they start freaking out? Oh, no, I won't freak out. No, Not in front okay. of cameras. I got to remain cool at all times. You know. We're actors. We can, we can act cool. I you just pretend, pretend to be, to be a hero on TV. Who wants to try the simulator first? <laughs> you really oh, want me to do this. <laughs> this is, this feels like I'm, oh, man. Lucas Scott likes basketball, back seats, and his brother's girlfriend. What about Nathan? What about him? Favorite hangout? The library. I have to be with you. Biggest pet peeve? Deadbeat dads. I can't change the fact this kid exists. If I could, I would. Pretty sexy. Pretty screwed up. One Tree Hill. Weekdays at 5. Only on SoapNet. With preference by L'Oreal, I fear nothing. The sun, the wind, nothing at all. Thanks to its advanced fade-defying system, my color won't fade out for up to eight weeks. And with weeks of deep conditioning, your hair won't dry out. Preference by L'Oreal Paris. You're not the guy to get your salsa from New York City. I do believe you're right. Around here, there's only one word for salsa. Pace. Made the right way for that big, bold kick. Grab the Southwest by the bottle. It hit the curb, it hit a tree, and then just sailed right up into my living room. I'm State Farm agent Kathy Wall, and this is a true story. Some fool drove into a living room. And parked on a sofa. So I called State Farm at 2 in the morning, and my agent was there immediately. Well, I had to get the car towed out of the living room. At 2 in the morning. And I had to get some guys to board up the house. At 2 in the morning. She stayed with me till 5 a.m. Great service and great rates. It's all here. Nobody takes care of you like State Farm. Call an agent today. Like a good neighbor? State Farm is there. We all have internal plumbing. But for some of us, it can be a problem. You know, frequent bladder urges. You worry your pipes might leak. So it's hard to always do things spur of the moment. 
That's why you should talk to your doctor about how to take care with Vesicare. Vesicare, once a day, can reduce urges and may help effectively manage bladder leakage day and night. If you have certain types of stomach, urinary, or glaucoma problems, do not take Vesicare. While taking Vesicare, if you experience a serious allergic reaction, severe abdominal pain, or become constipated for three or more days, tell your doctor right away. Common side effects are dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision, and indigestion. Fewer urges, the chance to be more spontaneous. It doesn't have to be a pipe dream. Ask your doctor today if Vesicare is right for you. It is about balancing our choices between the gray of the concrete jungle and the stunning beauty of the real one. Between a stoic facade of granite and the fury of the canyon. Between deafness and the presence of breathtaking music. Between blindness and blinding beauty. It's why there's Earthshare, the simple way to find balance. Earthshare is the workplace giving program bringing the leading environmental groups under one umbrella. Support Earthshare, support them all. Earthshare, please ask your employer about workplace giving. To learn more, please visit our website. Some wounds don't close, some hurts just never to heal. There's something that scares me even more. What if love isn't enough? Do I have to have faith? Sunday nights in Salem, the week's worth of days of our lives. That man doesn't deserve to live, does he? I buried you once. I don't want to go through that again. So much more than you ever imagined. The week's worth of days of our lives. Sunday nights in Salem, tonight at 7 on SoapNet. Are we really going to do this? <laughs> yeah, Where's the you? producer? Who's producing this darn show? Get excited now. Testing. Wake up. Everybody move. Here we go. Keep running, keep running. Good contact. Good. Beautiful. There you go. Well, am I flying? Am I flying? Oh. Very nice. You look good for a split second. Do you guys want to watch that tripod? Yeah, like you'll make it that far. <laughs> easy now, easy. <laughs> good, contact. laughing at me just as hard. Now I know why they got the padding on the keister. Now we know why Wally has this job. Make a fool of himself. That was a nerve setting. Hey, Pete, come give me a push. Go, go, go. I hope I do this this time. My neck's feeling a little stiff. You're gonna be talking to me the whole time, right, Leanne? You betcha. Okay. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> We're flying like a bird! 
Touchdown! Eureka! Yeah, we did it! Oh, how do you feel? Great, that was really fun. How do you, man? Peter, are you, how's your shoulder? Oh. <laughs> I'm out like that. Cut, that was nothing. Yeah, he's a professional. Fighter. I enjoyed it. I laughed my butt off when I saw you just rolling like that. Yeah, wait till you see the tape of me laughing at you. First. <laughs> All right. Do you guys go to the beach very often? No. In Southern California? Why would you? It's only you know a few miles away. I know. Isn't that ridiculous? I will never leave the beach. Uh, it's just beautiful. So here we are. At the beach. At the beach. Now, Life you guys, is hard, isn't it? <laughs> you guys, you know this this the restaurant that we were at. Yeah. The, In this area, you know very well. You've been up here before. The architect who uh, designed our house actually designed uh, part of the watershed. Watershed. So we mm -hmm. came down here a couple years ago when we were, were looking at his work, and uh, we found this Your eco, nice little cove. Your eco house. Yeah. Now, you two have been together for eight years. You've been married for six years. Now, how did you meet? We did a, a charity event, and uh, Kelly got up to sing, and um, it was all over, you know? And I chased her chased her down. She said, get away from me a few times. And I had this really good-looking man chasing me around. I was like, what do you want? <laughs> Where was this at? In L.A.? In Jackson, Wyoming. Jackson, Wyoming. Oh, Wyoming. It's oh, a beautiful yeah. place. Yeah, it is a beautiful we place. We try to go back and that's, see it every now and then. That's a nice place to fall in love. <laughs> it was very romantic. He was such a gentleman. He walked me back to the band house where we were all staying and it was just very sweet talked until the sun came up yeah and then we went and out I... on a date when we got back to los angeles and we haven't been separated since so peter yes let's talk about your history a little bit i grew up in Once the upon midwest, a time, it was the west. uh <laughs> in michigan and you got into theater then you're you were theater when i was in high actor. school yeah singing you know song and dance kind of stuff went to boston conservatory Got my Bachelor of Fine Arts, moved to New York, spent some time as a starving actor. So when did you do As the World Turn? As the World Turn was end of late 70s. OK. Because when I joined I Days of Our Lives in 87, you had already been there for a few years. Yeah, I joined in 83. 83. So I'm oh. so fortunate. I have the best job in the world, you know. <laughs> OK, so now my, my, my neck is Things definitely up on you. You want to work on your neck? Yeah. Would you mind? No, I'm telling you, I, my neck. I wouldn't I'm, I'm, mind working on I'm your neck. I'm sitting here and I'm looking over and my neck's really starting to hurt. You mind I'll if your wife gives here. me a little rub down? Sit down here. Okay. Can, oh, I, okay. can I sit here? Is this screwing you guys up? Just, oh. When I had that crash, I was very fortunate that I had oh. these, these hands working on me. She, she healed me. You also ride your bike to Days of Our Lives now. You're yeah. about how far away are you from? It's about 15 miles. Uh, in the morning, it takes about 45 minutes to get to work. and. A little over an hour to get home. It keeps you young. It keeps you young, keeps you in shape. Now, Peter, I used to work over there on Days of Our Lives, and I just mm. got to ask you, do uh, they miss me? <laughs> do they miss me? Do they remember you. me? We talk about you never. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's Justin? Whatever happened to oh, Justin that, that's and right. That's what your name was. Wait a minute, you're my brother. We are, yeah, you're my uh, cousin. Cousin? We're cousins. Something. We? What's your job over at GH? Uh, I play uh, Ned Ashton. So you I were used to be the CEO over. of uh, ELQ, which is the family business over there. And, I see. And I since left, and I've started my own record label now. You got I have my own you record do. label. Yeah, we do You've music over there. That's yeah, great. I sing over there. And Kelly's got So maybe 12... you should sign me on your show. Yeah, <laughs> she's got 12 songs on our show. She, she started out doing a Bowen Hope love song, theme song, and they loved it so much that she's written 12 other songs. Is it 12? Uh, more than that. I think music adds a lot to, to shows. Daytime is, daytime. Yeah. Now, you, we touched on this morning when you were talking about your echo home that you're preparing yourself for parenthood. Yes. Wow. It's time to slow down a little bit and, and uh, enjoy well, and each other. And you don't have to slow down. I mean, you know, you, you I don't think we will. We you'll really adapt not. and they'll uh, adapt. Our and, kid will be in a backpack yeah. on the top of Valley Esker. Like in a backpack, hang gliding. Paragliding. Some, paragliding yeah. someplace. That's beautiful. Let me say how much I admire the fact that you guys have uh, chose to live green, <laughs> as they say. It really uh, it's I'm sure an inspiration. We've had a little bit of an influence on it. It has. <laughs> and uh, my wife's probably going to hate me because I'm going to go home nah, and tell her all about this. And you're going to. Exciting, and we'll man. be getting up here, and uh, but I really do appreciate it, and I admire the fact that you're you decided to to do this, you know. Well, thanks uh, for helping us get get the message yeah, out there. Yeah, absolutely. We're gonna go back and attack the paragliding thing. I yeah, think. can you believe it? <laughs> These two, I gotta go home, but they're going back to the hill, and they're gonna yeah. get up and they're gonna see some air. You're gonna you're gonna be reaching new heights. Yeah. 
We'll, we'll give you some footage. Tyler. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot for joining me. See you. See ya. SoapNet's original Soapography is next. Then, it's a struggle for love and money on this week's General Hospital, followed by Ryan's Hope on SoapNet. John Hensley is my other husband. I mean, he really is. I've known him 20 years of my life. I played football, and I was always hoping that that would be my, um, my ticket. I was so-so. I was not good. Martha and Jeff, the full story in their words. Soapography, next on SoapNet. New Nivea Goodbye Cellulite. It's the difference between worrying about cellulite and saying goodbye to it. Formulated with L-carnitine to help reduce the appearance of cellulite. New Nivea Goodbye Cellulite with L-carnitine. Touch and be touched. Are you ready? Are you ready? Spend every Saturday night with the nut that tastes famously fresh. Planters. Put out the good stuff. It could be allergies getting to you. But irritants can cause your symptoms too. Astelin is seasonal allergy medicine, also approved for nasal symptoms caused by irritants. Most common side effects may include bitter taste, headache, nasal inflammation or burning, and drowsiness. Astelin! yourself in the silky smooth taste of dove chocolate an experience like no other my moment my dove here's a pearl of wisdom from the hair experts at l'oreal pearls are the secret to soft shiny hair that's why l'oreal created new vive pro nutrigloss with real pearl protein complex for the first time ever l'oreal's pearlescent formula captures the essence of natural pearls for up to 85 percent more mirror shine and 100 percent cashmere touch it's shine you see, softness you feel. It's expert care for mirror shine, cashmere touch. L'Oreal's new Nutrigloss, only from Vive Pro. Minute Maid HeartWise Orange Juice. Enjoy the pure goodness of nature's oranges and help reduce cholesterol. All in the same glass. Minute Maid. There's goodness in every minute. Mr. Barky Von Schnauzer! Mr. Barky Von Schnauzer! Give them a name they actually like. Lots of their favorite brand names are up to 20% off during our 20th birthday celebration. That's smart. Pet smart. Well, that's the show. Thank you for joining me on One Day. See you next time. Now, all your favorite soaps can be found in one place. Don't miss a minute of Days of Our Lives, All My Children, One Life to Live, General Hospital, and The Young and the Restless. Weeknights starting at 7 on SoapNet.